I think it's all about time. I mean, you know, it, it, you know, it's not just that you're kind of chained to watching those Western blots kind of all night. Um, I think you just have the ability to kind of increase that kind of workflow. And then you, you, you don't have to spend those long nights just sitting on the Western blots. I mean, you can do other things in the lab or if it's, you know, six or whatever and you want to go home, you can leave it overnight. And I think that's a nice thing. It saves time and um, it's, it's consistent which is uh, extremely important in experiments. Any, any, any place where you can minimize the steps and have it repeatedly do what you want it to do is critical. Uh, I would absolutely recommend this product because of its consistency, uh, because of its simplicity, and because of the enormous amount of time it can save and allow you to do other things in parallel. So looking at the results that we were getting, our standard protocol where we're using our 10% Tris Bis gels, I, I did a dilution using um, samples from the medial prefrontal cortex, and we decided to go with the 20 micrograms to run on the gel. Um, as you can see in that first plot, we have a lot of background, we have a lot of bands that are present. When we were using those samples, where in panel B, you can see we use cerebellum, the medial prefrontal cortex, and whole brain lysate, but we use the iBind Western detection system, is very clear. We don't have a lot of background. Uh, our band of interest is very distinct. We can see different levels of the amount of the TPH2 that's in the various regions, which is very important. We are punching very, very small areas of the brain. There is not a lot of protein. What we're looking for is in very low abundance, but in using the eye bind system, those um, signals are amplified and easy to see. It has allowed me to continue uh, my regular workflow, which is about 50% lab time and 50% administrative types of tasks. Um, and, and this device uh, is, is becoming very popular in the lab where I work now, and so I start off with two of the devices, and that wasn't enough, so then I switched up to four, because other researchers want to try it, and then they want to keep it. So I just, you know, we just keep buying more and more of them.